this drill really any good? Hi everybody, I'm Basso Contour. Stay tuned, let's find out. Well, I really wanted to put this drill through its paces. And so my first test is with some hardwood and I'm going to go ahead and use a universal socket and see how it works. It worked pretty well, but definitely not as powerful as a stronger corded drill, but it did get the job done. This is perhaps a harder test. I'm going to go ahead and try to drill a screw into a fence post without a pilot hole. So it's a pretty severe test. It could not quite do it, but it came pretty close. This is a common task, having to tighten up or remove screws in a gate. And it worked pretty well again. Not perfect, and there was a few tight screws it could not actually extract. Well, I guess this is sort of unfair. I wanted to see how the drill could do with a sort of a semi-dull hole cutter attachment. And I gave it a good try, but really could not make much headway on this. And you can see here the final product. Well, there's not much product. It didn't really work very well. The drill has a standard trigger for both directions. And one nice feature, it's got a little LED light. And so you can see what's going on before you start drilling. I thought the tool holder clip worked very well. It definitely holds the product in very, very tightly. And of course, it's quite simple to change the torque settings. Note that these aren't really calibrated to anything. It's just numbers 1 through 10. Snapping in the battery is not quite as trivial as you might think. It actually takes a fair amount of force to ram that battery in. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you like learning new things, guess what? You're at the right place. Please subscribe to see all of my latest videos. In Marin County, I'm Basso Contour. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>